I am Anil Kumar and here is an application question using quadratic equations. The question is, the width of a basketball court is 1 meter more than the half the length. If area of the court is 364 meters square, find the length and width. So let us say that is the basketball court for us. And in this basketball court, let L be the length and W be the width. Now let's see how they are related. The width of a basketball court is 1 meter more than half the length. So width is equals to 1 meter more than half the length. So half the length plus 1. That is how width and length are related. So from here we can write what length is in terms of width. So we get width minus 1 equals to half L or length is equals to 2 times width minus 1. So that is the relation between width and the length. Plus we are also given that the area of the triangle rectangle is 364. So area is equals to 364 but area is length into width. Since we know length in the terms of width we can write this as 2 times w minus 1 times w. So what we did was we substituted this value of length here in the formula, right? Now we can substitute the value of area given to us which is 364, expand this and calculate y, w. So when we open this up we get 2w square minus 2w, right? Bringing all the terms to one side we get 2w square minus 2w minus 364. You can divide by 2. Slightly we can simplify this, right? 2w square minus w and uh, I mean okay, we'll do half of this. Minus half of this is 1 and 16 is 8, 184. 182, right? So we get our quadratic equation which we need to simplify to get the value of width. So the quadratic equation for us is 0 equals to 2 times w square minus w minus 182. Now to solve this equation you could use factoring techniques or you could do quadratic formula, right? So let me show you how we can use factoring techniques in this particular case. 182 is a big number. But we need two values which are very close by, right? Since the difference is just 1. So let us find square root of 182. What do we get? Square root of 182 is 13 point something. So that means the numbers could be 13 and 14, right? So their difference is 1. So let's try. 13 times 14 is what? 182. So that works. So whenever there is just one difference, you can do square root and then factor. That's an excellent technique. So we found that 13 and 14 work for us. Bigger number is negative. So we'll write w minus 14 times w plus 13, correct? So then only when you add them up, you get negative number. But that gives you your answer that either for this equals to 0, we get w equals to 14. And for that to 0, we get w equals to minus 13. But since minus 13 is not valid, we are talking about dimensions of a rectangle. So it has to be positive, right? So this is valid. So we get width equals to 14. Once we know the width, we can find length. So the length is equals to 2 times 14 minus 1, which is 13 times 2, 26, correct? And from here, we can write down our answer that width is equals to 14 and the units will be meters. Length is equals to 26 meters, right? So that is how we can solve such questions. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.